All right, what's going on guys? Willis here. We're back with another Division 2 video. Pretty cool one for you guys today. We're going to be showing you in this video how to get the Chameleon. We're going to be taking a look at all of the perks, what, how much damage it does, basically the cool effect that it has. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I pretty much post the looter shooter videos, so it's not just Division. We do Destiny, Borderlands, and any other game that comes out in the future with his loot, guns, all that cool stuff. Um, yeah, but yeah, let's take a look at this weapon. So this is the Chameleon. It is a assault rifle. So it has the health damage perk. It's actually a vector that's been modified into an assault rifle. So originally this would be an SMG, but Massive have actually turned it into a assault rifle, which is pretty awesome. So the attachments here, we've got the Chameleon Dampener. We've got 5% critical hit chance. We've got the Chameleon Grip, which gives it 10% critical hit chance. We've got the Chameleon Optics, gives it 15% accuracy. And the Mag, which is Chameleon Acti, uh, Active Camo Processor. A large heat sink fang that the species heat from the Chameleon's Active Camo Processor. This gives it 20 rounds. Pretty awesome. 16.9 uh, damage, obviously you can increase that. 900 RPM. And the perks are right here. So we've got Adaptive Instincts. Hitting 30 headshots grants 20% critical hit chance and 50% critical hit damage for 45 seconds. So you need to hit 30 headshots. I don't know if this is like a bullet uh, or a kill, but I'm pretty sure you just have to hit them in the head with 30 bullets. Hitting 60 body shots grants 100% weapon damage for 45 seconds. Hitting 30 leg shots grants 150% reload speed for 45 seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go test this out in the firing range and we're going to go try out a um control point just to test out the damage but yeah you're probably wondering how do you get this weapon so it's pretty simple unfortunately there is no intricate quest to this you literally just need to download the update today if you have it head to anywhere on the map obviously you know this is a thing now if you're just coming back to the game there's a new thing in the game called targeted loot so if you need a specific item say a gas mask a chest piece uh, an SMG or an assault rifle, um, it'll basically show you on the map where you can get these items. Now, all you need to do is go to Camp White Oak. This is the assault rifle uh, place for the day. Um, if this video, if you're watching this video like at a different time, maybe it's changed to like Manning National Zoo. Just look for anywhere that says increased loot allocation assault rifle because this is actually an exotic assault rifle and uh, it drops much better from bosses so maybe just go in kill the boss back out and basically keep farming the boss there is a, a first boss and a second boss in camp white oak currently um a lot of people in my discord did actually mention that they got it from the first boss so maybe it's worth even just going in killing the first boss seeing if it drops and then leaving but other than that yeah it's just a will drop currently in episode three so so yeah let's test it out in the firing range see how it performs and i'll show you a really cool thing that it actually does which is pretty awesome I can actually see the little um okay that makes sense yeah so we've got head body and legs obviously for the perk if you're not aware when you hit them in the head it'll give you critical hit chance for 45 seconds if you hit them in the body it'll give you 100 percent weapon damage for 45 seconds and then if you hit them in the in the leg it'll give you 150 percent reload speed now obviously these three circles on the gun indicate how far along you are so obviously if i aim for the body here the middle one goes up the thing then turns white and then I am given pretty much uh, weapon damage for the remainder, I guess. Or was it? It was. It was. Where is it here? Let me see. So it was a hundred weapon, hundred percent weapon damage for forty-five seconds if you shoot them in the body, and then you get twenty percent critical hit chance and fifty percent hit critical crit damage uh, for forty-five seconds if you get headshot. So this gun's actually going to shred. Look at that. That's actually crazy. Fortunately, we can't actually make the leg one proc because the targets don't have legs. But like I said, we're going to head over to a control point in a bit just to test out the damage. But so far, I am really impressed with this gun. Very, very nice. Right, let's head on over outside and get to a control point and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. So yeah, uh, while we walk to the uh, control point, I want to show you a little cool feature that this gun has. It doesn't really affect the damage or anything. I just thought it was really cool. So... The chameleon will actually match the color of the thing you're standing on. So if you're standing on like tarmac or cement, it'll normally go gray. Sometimes when you climb on different colored cars, it'll actually change color. So maybe like a red car, it'll go red. Sometimes it doesn't seem to work. I don't know why, but normally when you transition from like grass, a grassy area, um, it'll normally, you'll normally be green most of the time. The gun will be green, as you can see. 
it's changing right now and it sort of changes to green there as you can see it's kind of a bit buggy i thought it was just the, the thing you're standing on when it changes color but sometimes it just doesn't work but it normally match the color palette of whatever you're near which is pretty cool i guess for blending in maybe that'll be useful in the dark zone i have no idea but just a pretty little cool feature that i thought was awesome but yeah i'm gonna leave you guys now with some uh control point gameplay with this gun in action uh once again you can acquire this from pretty much any uh place that has increased assault rifle drops there is no exotic quest or anything like that so don't worry about collecting pieces and then crafting it uh hopefully the other exotics that come uh with the warlords of new york are going to be like craftable and like actually hard to get but for now it's just a random drop you can get from targeted assault rifle uh drops but yeah big massive shout out to furza 14 as well for letting me use the account um i was basically farming it all day and didn't get to drop and i think he got it on like his first enemy killed of the dlc so big massive shout out to him uh be sure to jump in the discord discord.gg slash willis if you're looking to form a group or anything like that just an awesome place to be uh, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Access unlocked.